Today's video is about soloing static dungeons, but this time we are inside the static dungeon and we're in a little bit of a busier static dungeon. This one is right outside of bridge watch at smooth floor clef. We'll be doing the undead dungeon here inside of it. And I'm going to be using a shadow caller build with these abilities and passives, Cala Purity, stalker jacket, Ulta sandals, roast pork, just standard major healing potion, crypt candle, Bedford Cave, we do have a satchel turned on. We also have our Combat Fame Credit Auto Respect turned on. Here's the stats that we're starting with. I'm also a faction flag, so I'll be earning faction points. Now, uh, my starting faction points I actually forgot to fill out on the screen, so I'm going to do it live here. And that is 6,074. So, let's eat our food and let's begin. And I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to sit here and watch. No, I'm not going to speed it up today, actually. All right, let's eat our food and let's start just mass killing. I'm going to explain how I'm doing the pulls and why I'm doing the pulls the way I'm doing them. You may even see me get downed and beat up and I might suffer a repair bill of like possibly around 250,000. We'll see. There's only one other person in the dungeon with me, it says, but uh, it looks like this area has been cleared. As you can see, there's barely any enemies. Now, there's some statue enemies here. These things are very troublesome because they spawn these bats that silence me, and that's no good. So I'm going to try to not get silenced and uh, just dump all my abilities and try to kill the statue on the right as fast as possible while melt. Ooh, first drop was the good one. That's actually really good. I'm, I get maybe one of those per run, like once every 30 minutes, and I, I already started out with one, so that's pretty lucky. Now, normally I would disengage here, but I think I can take this statue on. I'm just casting two puddles, and then I cast our laser beam, our cursed beam. And these bats, yeah, they hurt, they silence, they're kind of annoying. But I can generally tank just two of them. Uh, and then this one exploded, so only this one will be alive, because there's only one per statue. And once you kill the statues, they despawn. So, what what is this that just dropped here? This is the Undead Crest. This is how you make Undead Capes, 200k. Easy money. Now, granted, I'm going to be blowing through my silver like crazy doing this because not only does the satchel cost money, see, look, just killing that one thing cost me 13,000 silver. I'm not making that back. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be losing silver doing this, but I'm going to be gaining a ton of combat fame credits because I want to spec up some stuff. So, solo enemies here, I'm just going to puddle twice and then laser and then they will die. And I'm throwing out the tier 2 and tier 3 items that they drop. There's a few little hidden cubbies that have uh, chest items. So right now, I'm going to try to evaluate how do I pull the ranged enemy mobs. The only dangerous ranged enemy is this wizard and this bow user. So I'm going to go for the bow user and uh, try to get them, try to get both the wizard here and the bow user together. Make sure that they got puddles under them and then just blow my cooldowns. Try to make sure I don't get stunned. Use my E spell to heal myself. And then whoever's standing in the puddle after that big blast, I'm just going to laser beam them. And the laser beam does an area of effect explosion if the enemies are cursed. So that's why I always put down two puddles first. It, it's this higher DPS. You can try it out on a target dummy. Uh, tier 2 item gets trashed. I do take the souls and runes. These enemies aren't generally worth killing, but there might be a chest over here. There isn't this time. I don't. Re they've redone this dungeon so many times. I'm just going to blow my cooldowns and kill these dudes fast. Because uh, by the time I get to the next pull, I should have them back. Uh, yeah, so no chest over here. I think there is sometimes, though, but it's whatever. Now, these enemies don't give a whole lot of fame because they weren't all that upgraded, but that one gave 16k. Generally, you want to go after the ones with the kind of green or blue glow around them. I'm also going to check up here for a chest drop, and we got... An, an, these glowing archers are the most dangerous enemies in this dungeon. This one right here, see how he's got the, the green smoke about him? And uh, you definitely don't want to fight a bunch of those. If you f end up fighting a bunch, they will kill you. And the problem, too, is that they have a kind of a smarter AI that if you walk close to them, they will run away. You can prevent them from running away from you by keeping your distance, but when they're surrounded by melee mobs, you have to close the distance. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to be, you know, killing them all at once. So we have two wizards here. Uh, some melees. Okay, we pulled one wizard, which is stupid. I would, I really want both wizards, so I'm gonna try for both wizards here. I'm just gonna kite them, just so they group up, keeping puddles under them. Now I'm gonna run towards them, use my abilities, and uh, just spam them down. So there we go, easy pull. Lots of fame from this one, especially the glowing mobs with again the green smoke pouring out of their bodies. These guys right here, absolutely great. There's only two other people in this dungeon, so I can farm this whole thing now. This is not as efficient. I'm going to tell you right now. 
it's way more efficient to farm the open world mo mob dungeons and using like a bear mount because you can pull like 10 at a time. But this is still pretty good and I'm, and I'm still going to show you. It's not going to be 20 million fame per hour good, but it's it's pretty damn close. It's it's decent. Now this is just one enemy. Uh, generally I wouldn't just waste time killing one enemy, but it is an upgraded enemy. Again, you can see the green smoke. So I'm absolutely going to kill it because look at the fame that it gra gives me. 16,000. Very nice. Whereas like this little this little mob here, he ain't really worth killing. This mob ain't worth killing. But now that I get a bunch of these mobs, you know, all bunched up on me, uh, it, it it starts to become a little bit more worth it. And I actually went off course here. Uh, I was supposed to go up to the top corner, and I didn't because I got distracted making the video. Anyway, so we're gonna kill these dudes real quick, and you can see the fame not not as good, but 5k. Hey, I'll take it. You know, it's free. 16k on the sword guy, the sword and shield guy. 9k on the other one. All right, we need to go up here in this little little hidden area, and then we're gonna explore up here. In the middle, a, there's a lot of really good pulls in the middle, so I, I might go there. And ooh man, okay, that's that's danger because of the archer, and then there's another archer up top. You can see. Uh, so we're gonna try to pull them together like that. There we go. Just a little bit of kiting, not too much, and we we need to dodge the archer's stuns while popping our cooldowns. And then I, I want to start melting the big tanky sword guy here, and that should take them all out. Archers are down, and the sword guys are easy. You just dance around them when you cast puddles and lasers every once in a while. That line attack they're doing heals them if they hit you with it, so you want to make sure you dodge that, because it can heal them for like over a thousand health. And uh, there is no chest up here either. Down there you can see two statues and an archer. That's see, look at that, 28,000. 28,000 again. This is so much better than Roads of Avalon. This is guaranteed. This is safe. I'm never going to be ganked here. I can't be ganked here. Yes, I'm faction flight. I could be, technically, but um, <laughs> it never really happens. All right, so that's a dangerous pull. I just want to avoid that pull. I don't really want to go that way. I want to go up here instead. Sometimes there's bosses up here in chests. So I'm going to clear this side and then clear that side, maybe clear middle. We'll see if we have time for all three. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this. We got a statue there, archer, and more statues. I hate the statues. Let's, uh, let's go after this. This is a, just a small little three pull. Why not? It's not that bad. We're just going to blow cooldowns immediately. Try to laser beam everyone at once. And they should die, you know, just in one rotation. Just one skill rotation. They're dead. That enemy is not worth pulling. Well, he might be if I could get more. I'm going to kill this just as I explore the side area here. Uh, yeah, he's, he's just by himself. So we can just two puddles, one laser, and he's dead. So there we go, 14k. And he dropped a little item, a little skill tome, you know, worth 15k, maybe 12k. Alright, this might be a hard pull. Yeah, because there's two archers. We need to get the archers nice and bunched up. And uh, yeah, I'm taking heavy hits here. I have to make sure that I get my heal off. If if for whatever reason I get stunned, see how that archer ran away there? So that's going to be a problem. And then this archer separated from the pack as well. Always DPS these archers down first. They are uno... They are priority number one, and because I can dodge the melees, right? The, the melees aren't a problem. It's the damn archer. Just kill the archer, dodge those, of course, so you don't want them to heal. And uh, if you leave those archers alive, your health will be drained. Their auto attacks hit like a truck. Even, like, I'm in 8-4 and they still hit hard. You can do this in 8-3. You don't have to have 8-4. You don't have to have max spec. I recommend 8-3 because it's efficient. Everyone always asks in every single video, every single time, without fail. Can they do this in like 6-1, 6-2? Yeah, you, you, you could, but it's not efficient, bro. It's like, just go farm, just go fame farm in the open world. You'll be more efficient there until you build up to this. You want to be able to kill these as fast as possible. It's not about, you know, killing them, you know, with and surviving. It's about killing them... And thriving, as in you want to kill these things fast. You want to kill these things efficiently. And this is a dangerous pull because my he my healing spell it has six more seconds on cooldown. I've got to really dodge around. And uh, I think I got it. So I'm gonna laser them here. And man, that was a, that was a risky pull. But I, as long as I have my E spell, you know, I was able to heal my health back up and take them down. So uh, you gotta really watch your cooldowns. I normally am very vigilant about watching these cooldowns, but. You know, it's actually very hard to speak and you'd constantly speak and play a game. I I used to, like, watch YouTubers back in the day, and they'd be playing, like, I don't know, old-ass, like, PlayStation games. And they would just be messing up all the time or missing, you know, things on the screen that's like, go here, and they're like, where do I go? 
And now that I now that I'm a YouTuber, I realize just how tough it is to like pay attention and speak at the same time, right? All right, let's laser that. I got hit by it. It's fine, but we can take these down. These relentless dread knights. They are the hardest hitting enemies besides the archers. They're not as dangerous as the archers, but they do give a bit more fame. So you, you definitely want to... I'm just going to tank this because I'm, I, I just want to trade damage. It doesn't hit that hard. If you get hit by the sides of that attack, it knocks you around. But yeah, those those guys give the most fame in the whole dungeon. So always kill them. 31.4 thousand. And that is with the treat and that is with premium active, by the way. I just I just use a little freebie premium week. The, the giveaway, 7 days of premium. Now, how do you get that? You, you go to Twitch channels that offer giveaways. And you load in a hundred accounts. <laughs> now I don't do I don't personally do this. I don't load in a hundred Twitch accounts, but you could do it, okay? And then you sit in their chat and then you claim the rewards or whatever. <laughs> uh, it's a way to get free premium, but um, you know, that way you're not paying fifteen bucks. Alright, let's see. How do I want to approach this area? Uh, I'm just gonna go around. That's not worth killing, that's just one archer. Also, remember on my screen when I had a starting amount of silver? Well, I do have active auctions going on, so I sold a Prowling Staff for 345k, which is overkill, by the way. That's a, it's a nice little flip. Uh, so it's not going to be entirely as accurate as I would want it to be. Also, this is going to be a difficult pull. Double statues, there's an archer down in my south. Man, oh, okay, it's a little baby archer. I, I can handle a baby archer. That's not a big deal because I can just laser them. It's, uh, dealing with uh, the melees here. Yeah, we got them. Okay, not so bad. I panic. Sometimes I tend to panic a little bit because, you know, those repair bills, they're a little bit spicy. And I just want to tell you right now, like, some people are like, oh, use Invispot. No, Invispot sucks because, um, it resets the entire fight. Whereas, if you're about to die and the enemy's about to die, you chug heal pot. It costs you half as much, and you get to finish the fight. So, you know, I ain't backing down from no fight. Alright, let's just nuke that uh, statue real quick. This little baby statue. I'm going to have to fight these two archers. And if we keep our distance, they won't s skedaddle around. And as long as I can just dodge their little spells, which I didn't dodge that one. Let's laser beam this one. It looks like he's too far away from the other archer to really be hit by it. But, uh, yeah, they're going to go down. Got him at the same time, which is funny. Uh, let's see, grab these items. I don't know why the the loot bag spawned at my feet and not their feet. It's it's weird sometimes. Just it's just a Unity game, guys. Chill. I wanna I wanna run up here see if there's a boss, and there isn't. So there's normally a chest and a boss here. Now I could walk my ass back and kill along the way, but that's not very efficient. Again, there's three other people in this dungeon now, and someone already kind of cleared this direction. Depending on the time of day and the day of the week, uh, you know, these dungeons might be a little busy, they might not be. So, uh, we're gonna A out, and then we're gonna go back in. I'm actually gonna search the surface real quick, because the surface is where the real fame is at, but again, there's like 69, ooh, 69 people in the zone. Now, that's a good pull. I'm swapping to bear for this pull, because, look, I can pull a whole bunch of dudes like this, man. Except I have the shield. I'm going to use the log out trick to remove my shield. And there we go. Just pull all these guys. This is why the, the surface is way better, right? Because you can just mass pull. And I'm <laughs> I'm in trouble here. Uh, my mount is despawned. I'm stunned. I'm getting... Look at my health just melt. It's fine, though. We're okay. And then we have an onlooker. Uh, might be a new player. He's like, whoa, this guy's doing it all by himself. Oh, my God. He's so cool. And yeah, he's... Why? <laughs> A little tank, a little newbie tank. <laughs> Yo, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, dude, you're brand new and you're you're building tank, dude. Oh no, he didn't watch the he didn't watch any of my videos, bro. He doesn't know. He doesn't know that you shouldn't like try to level tank solo. Anyway, let's uh, let's pull more bros here, more skelly bros. There's a nice juice pull. Try to get these guys too. Yeah, now this is this is where the fame's at right here. And if these mobs are upgraded, oh, it'd be even better. Oh man, yeah, you can tell I'm I'm getting my my health is draining, but it's okay because so is their HP. Everyone's dying here. Look at this. This is why we like the surface. Mm hmm. And there's uh, there's four chests you can get in the surface and four boss spawns. And there's uh, there's one in my right side. I can see it right now, so I'm gonna beeline it there as soon as I grab the loot because these could be. Undead capes, they could be Tomes of Insight, they're not. 
Yeah, you see this, this little icon? That's a boss. So we're gonna go straight to it, ignore everything. And they're about 50, 50k fame. Sometimes there's a chest linked to the boss. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a nice pull there. So the, the boss here is the Skelly Archer. This one is, um, when, when we kill it, we're gonna get a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a bonus. And uh, yeah, let's heal ourselves up. Kill this. And you know, they die just like anything else. It's They're not too tough. And you'll, you'll see it pop up after all the other ones. Go ahead and begin looting here. And, uh, yeah, any any second now, it'll sh it'll show. Let's see, do I want to do triple wizard? I don't know if I want to do triple wizard pull. They're kind of hard. Oh, I'm recording, let's do it. Oh, that was a baby bot? No, it's still going. Yeah, okay, trip, trip, triple wi wizards here. Let's go. See if I can do it. Make sure I, you know, silence them all, stun them all. Oh, yeah, this was an easy pull. Well, um, I'm, I must have missed the pop-up, but uh, it's it's there somewhere. It, it, trust me, it, it's a lot. It's a good amount of fame, right? Uh, I might as well kill these. Just a double normal archer. These mobs are little babies. They're not going to hurt me. And, yeah, archers are down. There we go. Kill these little dudes. These little slappy guys. They're just little slappy dudes. They just slap you. They don't even want to punch you. They don't want to eat you or claw you. Maybe they are clawing you, right? But, um, nah, they're just slapping, bro. They're just like, whoopsh. They're just, uh, they're just stretching their arms out and my face happened to be in the way. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so these are little crappy pulls on the, on, the, on the bridge here or on the wall, the castle wall. You want to get right in here to the good stuff. Like, that's a nice pull. Oh, oh, boy. This one will be tough. This is a tough one, but look, look at the rewards if we manage to pull it off, bros. I think we, yeah, I think we did just fine here. I'm getting, I'm getting beat up, but so are they. Look at that. Man, that's juicy. That is the big juice. That is the mega juice. Yes, yes, sir. And this is, again, this is right outside Bridgewatch. I didn't have to travel 20 minutes to a black zone with the potential to be ganged. I didn't have to luck out in the roads and find a freaking chest boss that wasn't already cleared by radar hackers and portaler cheaters that portaler like add-on okay so what portaler is it's a little damn it this this pull is not economical for me i need to like lose that archer okay good uh so what portaler is it's uh it's mostly for people in discords they uh they map out the roads and then it automatically maps it out for them and then they can share it with their friends Except everyone just goes to one mega server to see, like, the whole freaking roads all at once. It's really cringe, and, uh, basically anyone that uses it is at a super huge advantage. And, uh, everyone that doesn't use it is just, uh, at the mercy of the people that do. So, yeah. I hate it. I think it should never exist. I think SBI should do something about it. You know, I'm, I'm sick of all these third-party programs giving people advantages in games. It's re it really takes me off. I know that's just how it is. That's how it's been since, like, WoW Classic and stuff, man. Like, WoW Vanilla. Oh, uh, that's... I don't like this pool. I don't know if I like this pool. Try to get the... The wizards need to stick together, bros. Come on, wizards. Hold hands. Let's get this big boy here. Yeah, get him in. And try to cast my heal before I get frozen. And, yeah, we got so... We're about to get... Take a lot of damage from that puke, but, um... We managed to kill him before he got it fully off. There we go. The little floating skulls, yeah, they hurt. They sting, but they're not the worst. It's the it's like whenever he does like this weird sword slash. It's like an extra slash. What do we have down here? Archer Archer Sword versus Archer. This is a nice pull. This is a little easy pull, a little baby pull here. We'll just go ahead and do it. it it's worth doing. And the damn archers like to dance around. I'm just gonna blow cooldowns, kill him fast. Melt everything. Yes, nice and easy. Grab the loot. I don't understand why people leave the runes on the ground. Also, my mount is like extremely low HP, so I'm going to walk it for a little bit. I'm just going to go despawn the mount. 26 seconds. We can do another baby pull. That's fine while our mount heals. Because, again, he's a beefy boy. You know, he deserves a, a little break. You know, it's his first day at the retail store. And uh, his muscles aren't used to all the labor he's been doing. And, uh, by the way, the daily bonus just reset, so I'm gonna claim that, and there we go. Yeah, man. Daily bonus. And I didn't dodge that, so you can see he healed off of that. This one I can just face tank, it's fine. It's whatever. 
Mount is back up. What do we do now? Let's uh, let's check this courtyard, this courtyard, and this courtyard. Those are the big pools. Cause look, look at this, big pool. The enemies aren't upgraded though, and there's other people also out here doing, trying to do big pools. So again, we didn't get a lot here. You can hear them fighting. Most of the people run a safer build than what I do, but my build clears faster, and I'm all about clearing faster because the faster you clear, the more you can clear, and uh, that means you get your lion's share of the fame farm. That's... A, I don't know if I could do this pool. This is the most dangerous pool of the video. Um, I'm a, No, I'm not going to try that. That's too dangerous. There's too many archers, too many wizards. I'm going to get frozen and stunned. Uh, so I'm just going to run away. Let someone else handle it. There's a, a, a group. Sometimes groups come down here. Yeah, let's... Uh, here, let's just do this this little pull. I can, I can manage these guys. We're going to kill the archer and the wizard, or try to do them at the same time. Yeah, I, th th this is doable. You know, this is still good. It's still a good pull. My mount needs uh, another break, though, because I, uh, I kind of ran him around the laps, around the track. He's, uh, <laughs> he's having a rough day here at the office or at the retail store. Whatever, okay. All right, let's get, let's get big old sorty boy here. Let's get not so big sorty boy, and let's get this dude's eating something. You can see he's shoveling dirt into his mouth, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna blow cooldowns real quick. Like uh, I don't have my heal yet. Now I do, and then we laser beam. There we go. And how much time do I have left? It's been 21 minutes since I started filming. Cool, cool. And uh, I want to inspect these guys and see how they're doing because uh, you know they're in a party. I'm solo. I think. Here's the thing, right? Here's what I've discovered. Even if you have one party member also as strong as you, it's it halves your fame gain to the point where it's it's more worth it to just do solo open world than it is to do the, this. Like what these guys are doing, I guess they're learning the game, but they're not earning a lot of fame doing this. They're better off going to a yellow zone and, and fame farming the open world mobs. Because uh, as soon as you start splitting the fame from this, it no longer becomes worth it. And that's why a lot of people, like a lot of Redditors, will tell you, oh, Blue Zone sucks. It's because they're group players. They play in groups. They have friends to play with. They don't realize that how lucrative this truly is for a solo player. It's uh, it's truly, truly amazing. Like, I'm going to show you the results at the end. Don't worry. You know, soon. This is a nice pull. This is also an okay pull. We want to make sure we eliminate this archer, though. I'm going to unsummon my mount just so I can kite all the melees into it. Because, man, oh man, you really gotta show these. Look at him run! Look at him run around! He's a little runny boy! Now we can laser. We have to kill that archer. There we go, we got him. Get the sword boy here, and we're, we're fine, you know. It's it's just a sword boy and a sword shield boy. Little skelly boys. I'm gonna get knocked. I'm gonna throw the bag out. I gotta do a little inventory management while I, while I fight the enemies, I know. It's okay, you can always do it afterwards. And we're melted. Like, I've got four red floating skulls around him. He's got two green floating skulls on the ground. Bro, learn to cast it on your target and not on the ground. It would be cool if Cursed Staff had that spell. I think that would be the coolest spell. You have a bunch of, uh, you know, what is it? That crossbow that put plants the mines, and then you have a bunch of Cursed Staffs that would plant explodey skull mines. That would be so neat. There's a boss in a chest up here sometimes. Doesn't look like there's one this time. You know what? I'm a little adventurous. Let's let's try to get more wizards into the party. Let's go. Let's just start nuking. Let's see what happens. Let's see. yeah. I guess yeah. We can totally do that. We we're getting some big boy pulls here. Hell yeah. Dodge the melees. Dodge the spells. Didn't quite exactly dodge that melee. It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna laser beam this dude down and ta-da! We did it. And uh, grabbing the loot. The loot is not going to make up for the silver losses. Not at all. Not in the slightest. So there's the party, the, the other people were over there. I'm going to check middle uh, courtyard now. Because, again, they're about to get over there. They're working their way over there. Working my way downtown. Walk in fast. Soul Benji rolls up. Steals all my mobs. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Look at this. Solo, boys. Solo fame farming. The, the isekai anime hit solo fame farming in the blue zone. You know, 12 episodes for the first season. There's even a romanceable uh, episode where you get, you find a skelly knight and uh, she's a little shy and she's a little tisundir. 
Uh, how do you say that? Is it Tsundere? Tsundere? What's the proper pronunciation? I don't know, man. Uh, oh no. I have to run away from uh, <laughs> the, the female undead knight. <laughs> I found her pantsu. <laughs> Oh man, we're getting cringe now, boys. That's what happens when you fame farm in the blue zone. You just start getting kind of cringe. Everyone can agree to that one. We're all a little bit cringe here on the Soul Binge channel. And of course, the undead archer runs away. The undead archer is the is the antagonist of the anime, by the way. <laughs> oh man, if I had a massive super fan base where I was like a multi-million like subscriber YouTuber, some animator would animate this stuff for us, you know? Kind of like they do with those other channels, you know, like a little short 30 second animation. I would love that. That'd be so funny. I would be very, way more outspoken with things. Okay, so we cleared most of the middle courtyard before that party did. Sucks for them, but that's what they get for being newbies. And uh, we're going to try to pull... Can we... Is there another? Yeah, we can pull this group. This one's a little bit harder to corral, but we can get them right here on the bridge like this. Kind of move back, and of course that archer's repositioning. Not good. No bueno. I don't know what no bueno means. I just saw it on a commercial once. Someone can translate for me, though. You guys speak multiple languages because you're all smarter than me, so. Uh, why am I the YouTuber again? <laughs> I always wonder that. Like, why? How am I the YouTuber, right? How how come you guys aren't the YouTuber? And I'm, and I'm the one watching you guys, huh? Someone tell me in the comments. Tell me right now. Tell me right now. I need to know. All right, we're on the third courtyard. We're gonna do a little pulley pull here, grabby grab. These are all unupgraded, so this is a this is not a very lucrative pull. I'm just gonna clear it just so that other party doesn't get any of the, you know, the looties. Because why not? Look, they, I don't even need to use all my abilities here. I can just use my my basic stuff, and they die. I did use my heal because I don't like waiting between pulls. All right, runes and runes and runes and runes. <laughs> Um, I checked there, I checked there, I checked middle lately, so we're, we're basically full clear on most of the spawns. Oh, these guys are back. Get these dudes. Okay, we got wizard coming from south. Let's throw puddle there, get knocked, that sucks. It sucks that we got knocked back, but it's fine. We need to get archer here. I, I, that's a double knock. Try to get the heal off. Got it. We're fine. We're alright. We're doing pretty good. Laser beam them. I canceled early for some reason. I guess I got hesitant. I need to kill this archer though. They're not they're not upgraded, so they're not a big threat. But they're still annoying. Ooh, Tome of Insight, very cool. Yes, yum yum, Tome of Insight, very delish. Get the runes. Don't leave any trash. You gotta pick up after yourself, okay? It's uh it's the right thing to do. I hate when I enter this zone and there's like a hundred loot bags. I do like when people forget to loot the tomes of insight though. That's always fun. All right, so this is still cleared and unupgraded because it's recently clear. What's this guy doing? A little five three dude. I don't know why you go um, shadow caller in five three, but whatever. You do you, Bucko, and he's coming. His name's Isaac, and he's a role player, and um, he's a stalker of the dark. Apparently, he's got. Uh, I don't know how to. I don't know what that says. Can I join your Discord, dude? <laughs> I could join his Discord and be like, Hello, I'm in your dungeon, voice chat. Woo! Woo! Blah, 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 blah. But then, you know, people just, they're like, uh, Por qué? And I'm like, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, brother. And, uh, yeah, this is a, you know, one day we'll, we'll figure out the language barrier. We'll just have microchips that translate for us. Uh, there's the one game. Uh, they, they, did, uh, they did the sci-fi translating really well. It's like a little alien game. And uh, they explained it where um, if you have, like, the microbiome, like a virus, you literally have, like, a virus or something, or, like, germs in you, and it translates for you. They're, like, little translator germs. And I thought that was really creative. That's really cool. That's a cool way to handle that problem, you know, because uh, how the hell are you going to understand what aliens, you know, they don't speak English. What the, what the frick? All right, our food buff is about out. We want to make sure... That uh, we don't keep fighting when our food buff is out because then we won't heal as much and we might die. Luckily, no repair bills this video. Of course, you know, it, you know, it could be the next poll. You never, never truly know. Home of Insight, baby. Okay, Archer, Wizards, Archer. I like this side. We're going to grab these boyos and then we're going to grab these. This little trio is dangerous. Look at my HP. It's already dropping. 
I gotta like spam my abilities now. Hit all of them in a laser. They were in a nice little line for me. Melt their HP. Man, this these are beautiful pulls, okay? These are really nice pulls. I am proud of this video. Even though I've made this exact video like 10 times now. <laughs> I gotta make them every month. Because people are like, how do I do this? What are you what are you doing? What are you doing, step bro? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's a ch there's chests up ahead. We gotta ga grab them. They could have loot. We're gonna eat another food here so we can get those chests, boys. Yes, yes, we gotta get the chests. And I got stunned there, but it was too late. So you know, I I do want to get give you the 30 minute total here. You know, just to see the earnings, just so you can see how how much you you earn in 30 minutes or lose. Uh, silver wise so we're gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna grab the chest hopefully before there's like 10 people in here so maybe yeah I should be able to do it okay Let, let's pop up up the screen we got time we got time all right all right all right let me I got to do this manually no edits makes it easier uh, ending combat fame credits is three one three dang that's a lot nine three two oh five five earned now I pop out mr. calculator 313932055 subtracted by uh, 307387341. That's six and a half. Yeah, that's a lot, bros. So that is. So fame per hour. And so you double that number and then you double it again. So the reason we double it is because one combat fame credit is two fame to weapons. There we go. So that's 13 in 30 minutes and then double that. That Oh, yeah, we're doing real good because we had we had the fame buff, bros. So this is 26 million fame per hour. <laughs> really nice, isn't it? Uh, ending... Don't worry, I'm gonna scroll up uh, the thing. Ending silver, okay? You're, uh, I'm gonna show this off at the end once I'm done typing it. And uh, let me see here. Yeah, we're down to 79, 176, 179. And I think I had a sale. Did I have any sales during the video? I don't know. Uh, so silver lost. So now, again, we get Mr. Calculator here. 79, 176, 179. And then we're, we're going to do, uh, we started with 86 million, dang. Uh, so we lost 7,163,000 silver, again. And then faction points, that's the last one. Faction point ending is, again, I'm sorry for this. We're going to get to those chests in a sec. 17,060 faction points earned. Okay, and uh, let's see, calculator time, once again, 17.060, subtracted by, I think we started out with not that much, what is, uh, hold on, I'm, I'm looking for it, 6.074, and there we go, so we earned 10,986, not bad, that's a, you know, that's a good amount, so here's the results, lads, here we go, uh, so you can see, we f we're at our current rate, we're farming 26 million fame per hour, which is insane. And then our ending silver, we're spending 14 million silver per hour to do that, by the way. Uh, and we're earning 10,000 faction points. Um, 20,000 per hour, about. If you round it up to 11, that's 22,000 faction points per hour. That's at least two chests, that's a bunch of hearts. Very cool stuff, but on with the show. We're going to eat another food buff here and grab those chests, and then we'll end the video. The chest... Oh, we got we got Natsu up there. He's got the bunny. Yeah, he, he might be farming. I think he grabbed that chest, so we can only grab this one. Oh, well, that's what we get for editing it live, but hey, it's fine, because I'm just going to run up here and pull all the pukey boys. There's a lot of pukey boys. We got some wizards. Wizards and puke. That's a... Uh, now, that's a band name. Wizards and puke. <laughs> oh man, I love, I love how my brain works sometimes. It's so funny. Okay, and they're all dead. This looks like a little blue chest. A little blue chest. Let's go, little blue chest. What's inside? Uh, 19k. Yeah, not. It wasn't really, really worth eating the food buff for. I mean, maybe I don't know. But uh, yeah, you know, we could continue on. We could keep going, bros. We don't have to stop the fame farming, cause uh, you know. That's a lot of that's a lot of combat fame credits, brothers. And yeah, it's eaten through a lot of silver, but that's that's why we got the silver, man. That's why we play the game so we can max our specs and then we can PvP with it or something. <laughs> oh man. Laser beam. Alright. 
Yeah, I guess we're, we're gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going for a little while. Why not? Just keep the party rolling, rolling, rolling. Now, earlier we saw that Great Axe guy, that 8 4 Great or not Great Axe, Hand Axe, Battle Axe, that's the proper word, Battle Axe. And uh, he's not farming nearly as fast as Shadow Caller. Sorry, but um, I have the higher DPS, bro. Also, I sold something. Grandmaster's Cape. Cool. Cool. Uh, yeah, so he grabbed the chest. The little axe guy grabbed the chest. So I think we'll just end the video here, guys. What do you think? And, and people are going to argue super freaking hard that this is not 26 million fame per hour. Buh, 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 buh. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. And the reason why. Combat fame credit. Check it out. All right. When you want to allocate combat fame credits to a weapon like this spear combat specialization, I pay 27,000 combat fame credits, and that gives me 54,696 fame. Therefore, if I farmed X amount of combat fame credits, I farmed X amount of fame. Now, I will mention this. This week I started, I was at 220 million combat fame credits. Now I'm at 314 million combat fame credits, but... My little stats page here will only show that I went up by 10,000 uh, fame killing mobs, and I could prove that by going to total fame for this week and going to my, my character. When I started this video, I was at like 10.5 million on this stats page. I was 10.5 million. In 30 minutes, it went up to 11.2 million. All right? So a lot of Redditors, they want to go by this number for some stupid reason. They want to go by this stats page number. That is wrong. That is wrong, 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 wrong. As you can see here, fame for killing mobs, 290 million. Well, look at my damn destiny board, okay? Look, look at all my level 100, like, uh, weapon specializations. Each one of these is 34 million. So let's just say they were 30 million. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24... All right, um, and then not even counting the armors or anything that I have maxed out, you know, just the weapons here, you know, uh, two, 27, right, and then 310, there's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, there's another 210 million right there. As you can see, like, going through, here's another 210 million in crossbows. Uh, there's another one, you know, there's, there's a whole bunch here on the axe tree. So as you can see, I have literal billions of, of fame you know, allocated to my destiny board and just the weapons and armor and stuff, right? So this stat page doesn't mean shit. This do this number doesn't mean nothing. Who cares about this stupid number? I don't care about being the highest ranked total fame person of all time, which is one, which is funny because he's got the best fame and PvP fame. Uh, actually, no, Pv PvE fame, right? You know, that's... Uh, that's this dude. So, uh, yeah, this week I'm at, uh, uh, see, that says 10.5 million. Whatever. You get the idea. Um, <laughs> it, it, I guess it doesn't update. Um, but essentially, I, I'm just telling you, man, it's, uh, that number doesn't mean nothing unless you're some sort of high ranking dude guy, bro. Like, are you the kind of guy that plays Call of Duty and you care about your kill death ratio? Like, a lot of people that I, I've noticed in this game, they, they are victims of peer pressure. They feel like they need to impress other people with their stats or their numbers, and, and they feel like they can't go farm in blue and yellow zones because their friends will judge them as wimps and being timid and being afraid. So they would just throw away sets and millions of silver. Like, I was in a 10v10 Hellgate, believe it or not. Like, check it out. I actually did a 10v10 Hellgate the other day. And, uh, like, um... I killed a guy and a, a guy got clumped and and I and I got the last hit. And those guys gave him so much shit for it. They gave him so much shit for it. They would not stop like bullying him over the fact that oh you got killed by Yellow Zone Warrior, you got killed by Yellow Zone Warrior, blah 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 blah. And it's like, bros, what the heck? I like I'm just as dangerous as you guys. I I probably have more ZVZ experience because I do faction warfare like every freaking day, and I gotta make sure that I don't die. Uh, and which I'm dying here, by the way. So, because these damn archers, bro, I'm chugging a heal pot. First heal pot of the vid. Because uh, I did this pull really sloppily. Let's get, let's just finish him off. Get this damn archer down. Look, these archers will melt your HP, bro. But the, the point I'm saying is that, uh, you know, blue and yellow zones are very good. Very, very good. Because you do not lose when you, when you play them. You do not lose. Whereas when you go to black zones, huge risk. Right? Like, the set I was wearing in the in the Hellgate, it was like 2 million silver. And I, I didn't make that money back. 
And we, we we won and got all the loot and we cleared like three hell gates and 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 I didn't I didn't I didn't make that amount back. Was it fun? I don't know. It was like everyone's just kind of yelling over voice chat. So I don't I, I dude when a lot of people are talking over voice chat all at once, I can't understand what anyone's saying. It's like when you're like in a lunchroom, like like a cafeteria. Also, there's no chest here either. Damn it. Um, like I can't understand what anyone's saying. But yeah, here you go. Here's the stats. Yeah, like, like, look at the set I'm wearing. This is like almost two million silver when you buy it from Care Leon, because you gotta leave, you gotta go out of Care Leon for it, right? It's it, and, and what for one thousand two hundred IP? Whoop de doo! It, it's just a it's just a waste of money, waste of silver. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end the video because uh, I've been fame farming for a little under thirty to forty minutes now. Not even all that super efficiently. Uh, I like to go to the statics further away from town because this is right outside Bridgewatch. I like to go to down here to Sandgusk left. That's my favorite. There's another good one that no one ever goes to, and that's up here at Believer Tor, which is a little bit further away from Martlock, and you will encounter Martlock flag players, so it can be a little bit of fun to fight them sometimes. But uh, yeah, that's the video. I don't. I can switch to Husky so I can run around faster. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video because there will be people that will dislike the video because they're like, Ugh, blue zone, bleh, Ugh, I gotta impress my friends, dude. And uh, finally, leave a comment because it's my only social interaction. I literally refreshed my YouTube page. I went four hours yesterday without a comment, dude. I felt lonely as hell, okay? And finally, on the right side of your screen, there's a video you should absolutely click. And, um... If you don't click it, this one's going to be very minorly inconveniencing you, okay? There's going to be a fast food place near you that's going to have a new, like, chicken nugget sauce or something. Some kind of new dip for, for tendies. I don't know. And you're going to be really excited to try it, and then you're going to try it, and it's going to be really gross and disgusting. And you're going to be really disappointed that you wasted, like, 10 bucks on 20 nuggets or whatever it is in your area. So with that said, click the right side of the video, or you're going to have... Uh, a crappy new flavor of nugget dipping sauce to try and you're gonna be just disappointed you'll just be disappointed but if you click the video it'll be a delicious sauce